Hey there guys, Joshua here from Gander Flight. Spring is in the air, flowers are blossoming, and if you've got a cracked, gouged, or torn riding lawnmower seat, then I've got the fix for you. All right, so last summer, I worked on a lawnmower for a friend that had a torn seat. Tore up. It came to me with a cover on it, and I didn't know what was underneath it. When I took it off, it was beat up. The vinyl was gouged, the pieces of foam were missing. It was rough. And so we decided to fix it instead of replacing it. It worked out well, and I want to take you through the steps that we used to go over and fix that. So I'm going to start by removing all the duct tape that the previous owner put on there. They kind of just slapped a few pieces on and tried to cover up the holes and uh, it just kind of melted everywhere. And honestly, the hardest part about this whole project was getting this cleaned up and ready for the repair. So I started out with some goo gone and lots and lots of elbow grease. Just kept using more and scrubbing and scrubbing until I got all of that melted on cheap duct tape residue off. Then I started cleaning the goo gone off with some simple green degreaser and then switched to some rubbing alcohol to prep the whole thing to accept the Plasti Dip and the repairs. Now this part here, we're moving into actually repairing the tears. I chose to get some wax thread and uh, if I were to do it again, I probably would just use dental floss. It would be much more easily gotten and it would do just the same. This stuff is definitely more heavy duty and uh, it'll hold up for sure, but I think dental floss would have been fine as well. I'm using a baseball stitch there. Uh, I used an awl or you could use a small drill bit to pre-puncture the holes where I wanted the threading to go through. Um, and the baseball stitch always comes up from underneath. So you go down into the, the cut and then come up and it allows the, the seam to be flat. It doesn't uh, bubble up as if you were to do a whip stitch. And so it's, it's a really good way to seal things up but not have them bulge out. So if you're not familiar with that, definitely check out uh, some tutorials on baseball stitching. It's super helpful in getting a flat seam on these that isn't gonna you know, rub into your back. Now with that baseball stitch, you've got two needles, one on either side and you're going back and forth alternating them. One thing you want to pay attention to when doing big holes like this is that you're not pulling and putting so much tension on that vinyl that you start tearing out of those, those holes that you made. Uh, you want it tight and you want to get it as close as possible, but as you'll see here, I don't bring the vinyl back to touching. Uh, some of it was missing and you just want to get it so that it doesn't flap around, that it's, it's tight and that it'll stay in place. And it's okay if there's a big gap. We'll get to that in a little bit of how we, we filled those holes. I'm gonna do a quick interruption here. I know you're into DIY because you're watching this video. Come on over to our free DIY group, DIYers, Tinkers, Fixers, and Makers. I'll put a link in the description box below. So now we get to the superstar of the repair, and that is covering it up with Plasti Dip. Now, Plasti Dip's available at your local hardware store, at least in the black. It comes in other colors too. It comes in aerosol spray and in the tub that you can use with paintbrush. This job we're going to be using the paintbrush because we want to be able to get it in all the nooks and crannies. Um, but I've also used the spray stuff on my car for the wheels or blacking out the emblems. And so I'm just painting it on pretty thin for the first coat. But uh, as I'm painting it on, you can see I start to realize this isn't going to fill in those holes. Uh, you're going to be able to put your finger through that, that thread. So onto Part two, I got some duct tape and now I'm re-duct taping over the stitching. Now I'm paying attention here to make sure that I get it super flat, that there's not any bubbles, that it's intentional on where it goes and that it follows the contours of the seat. Um, so it was really important that we got that seat clean with the rubbing alcohol in order for the duct tape um, to adhere to the seat. And now that we've got the duct tape covering the major holes, now we're going to lay our Plasti Dip on. We're going to do quite a few coats and uh, the first one definitely, you, you want to shoot for about 50% coverage and then and, and spread it out. You want to go a little bit past the duct tape so that it, you can feather it in. And you're just going to keep putting on coat after coat. I think I did about six for this job 
until it's covered. All right, so Plasti Dip did awesome. This big rip that was going in three directions was huge, a big, big ask of the Plasti Dip. Um, definitely doing the, the duct tape over and then Plasti Dipping over that is gonna, gonna work. Don't know how long that's gonna hold out. We're gonna have to do a, another check-in in a few months after some use and see how that's holding up. But definitely for smaller holes um, and tears, you know, if you catch them right away, I mean, this one on the side here, I can, I can, I have to look to actually find it. Um, and I think that that's going to hold up really well over time. Again, time will tell and we'll see in a couple months here how this is holding up. But I think this is a great fix um, for lawnmower seats because these things are expensive to replace. All right, so this is six months later. And uh, you can see there's just a slight separation in the tape there but uh, another coat of Plasti Dip and that would be sealed back up again. I'm super surprised at how well this held up. Uh, that gaping hole, it's still covered. And this has been used and abused and stored outside for six months. So as you can see, the Plasti Dip and the sewing worked awesome. It's held up absolutely fantastic. And I couldn't ask for a better fix. So if you're looking to fix your lawnmower, give Plasti Dip a try. And uh, let me know how it goes in the comments below. Until next time, I'm Joshua from Gander Flight. Take care, pay it forward, go out and fix your lawnmower seat.